This week, legislators are in Bismarck as work begins on the 2021 legislative session. In today's KX Conversation, we are joined by state minority leader Josh Boche. Josh, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Good to be with you all tonight. Yeah, typically these first three session meetings aren't filled with, you know, a lot of breaking news. But what goes into these days and why are they important? Well, you know, as we... Uh, like the rest of North Dakota deal with COVID-19, uh, it's first and foremost, how do we set up the legislative session to be safe for not only legislators and the staff to work, but also the public to engage and be a part of the process this next spring. So there's been a lot of conversation about our internal rules of how do we uh, practice mitigation efforts, make sure that we're spread out throughout the Capitol uh, so that we can meet our obligations and, and duties that are defined within the Constitution. Well, the governor is expected to give his budget address tomorrow. How do his recommendations play into planning for legislative leaders such as yourself? Well, you know, there's definitely been a shift over the last couple of years, and, and I think this year significantly we'll see it even more emphasized in terms of the budget process. Um, while we certainly appreciate what the governor uh, proposes in terms of, of his vision of the budget for the next two years, uh, it's really the purview of the legislative branch to determine that. And so those changes that we've made over the last couple of years is, is while he's going to make some proposals and have the ability to introduce those into legislation, uh, we will start with last year's budget as our starting point uh, and make changes from there based on the budget projections of revenue and, and expenses that we'll be hearing after he gives his address from our uh, our fiscal analysts and top priorities of yours during this session well, first and foremost, you know, addressing COVID-19, uh, not only in the immediate uh, crisis that we're in, but also how do we plan for the long term? How do we uh, use these experiences to better build out a stronger state government that meets the needs of North Dakotans? Uh, beyond that, and, and probably in collaboration with that, is, is the legacy fund earnings. How do we prioritize legacy fund earnings uh, so they aren't used to continue to back end the budget as we've seen the Republican supermajority use over the last couple biennium? Uh, we have the opportunity to be bold and to be visionary in how we invest those funds in North Dakota first and for North Dakotans to improve the quality of life here. And then finally, uh, you know, there is going to be reduced revenue projected at this point. So how do we make sure that we're still providing quality services throughout all of North Dakota uh, so that citizens are used to getting uh, the services they expect, whether it's the DMV, uh, human services or Parks and Rec? Josh Boucher, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. You all have a great night. Thank you.